Hello, Assalamualaikum. My name is Zaman from AGC, and today I would like to present about visual perception, which is developmental sequence and visual perception problems. Now, uh, let me start with developmental sequence. Developmental sequence have two functions, which is visual receptive and visual cognitive. Now, let me start with visual receptive functions. Visual receptive process develops according to a prescribed schedule, which begins in the womb. By the 24th gestational week, the visual pathway is complete. The visual system undergoes extensive maturation and more, uh, which includes retina and visual cortex, and is usually happening between the 24th and 48th gestational uh, week. Uh, at birth, the infant has rudimentary visual fixation uh, ability and brief reflexive tracking ability. And the visual system at this age is uh, still immature compared with other sensory systems. Considerable development occurs over the next six months. And accommodation and more are established by the end of second month, uh, which is uh, convergence and accumulate uh, subsystems. And uh, stereopsis is evident at about two months of age, and maximum accommodation is achieved at the age of five years. And the child should be able to sustain this skill effort for continued time at a fixed distance. And control uh, tracking skills progress in a developmental pattern from horizontal eye movement to vertical diagonal circular eye movement. Vision enables infants to gain information from various locations and range of distance and is also a means for infants to organize info received from other senses. By coordinating visual and auditory input, infants acquire info as they explore more in their physical and social environments. Uh, some visual cognitive capacities, uh, capacities uh, exist at birth, whereas other eye level capacities are not fully developed till the teenager years. And this development occurs throughout perceptual learning and the process of extracting info from the environment. Perceptual learning increases with experience and practice and also through stimulation from the environment. Now, under visual perceptual function, there is a, a thing called, um, there is a type of vision called uh, object also known as form vision, in which uh, infants have well developed visual perceptual abilities uh, which include pattern recognition more and usually happen long before infants can manipulate objects or move around space. And visual perception develops as a child grows up uh, with most developmental changes taking place by 4 years, 9 years of age. However, children vary in the rate, uh, depend on the capability of children in which they acquire perceptual ability, effective usage of capacity and more. And there are three areas in which a child demonstrates rising ability to discriminate visually. One of them is the ability to distinguish specific distinctive features. Secondly is the ability to observe invariant relationship in repeated events. And the last final one is the ability to find pattern hierarchy. And these skills are very important for learning, uh, for learning to, uh, to read and write and which at the same time allows the processing of the largest unit possible for uh, adaptive during a specific task. The child's first world perceptions are mainly from three inputs which include tactile, kinesthetic and vestibular. And vision and audition gradually become dominant when these three basic common senses become integrated with the higher level senses. Young children tend to have tactile reading preferences compared to visual learning. And the dominant reading style of struggling readers is global and more. Global reading style usually involves recorder stories and more. Uh, research shows uh, that uh, struggling readers do better in classrooms that allows movement, have comfortable seating and more and which at the same time also enables students to uh, work with relevant ease in different groupings. Uh, research also states that uh, whenever the students' uh, environmental interests are fulfilled, they are most likely to associate reading with pleasure and more. And usually boys are less auditory and verbal than girls and usually remain kinesthetic longer than girls. And But it is also crucial to remember that reading style preferences develop at different times and rate depend on the uh, capability of the child. Information processing has been identified as one of the main factors that predict first grade readiness and in the usually uh, in the visual perception motor domain. Uh, and there is also evidence that a school going child with delayed perceptual progress may not catch up with his or his friends uh, in academic achievement. And enough perceptual discrimination is deemed crucial for uh, literacy skills development of reading and writing. A, a very important aspect of early literacy development is known as alphabetics, which includes uh, uh, phonemic and phonologic awareness and more. 
and uh, uh, interventionists are not mainly responsible for to teach students to read and write because they are not teachers but they may address the many performance skills to support the student literacy outcomes and children slowly develop a larger ch- chunks of visual data retrieval and more by the time they become teenagers perceptual skills are boosted by their relationship expanding cognitive skills um, hence the teens can imagine uh, create and construct complex forms and for a teen uh, with severe visual perceptual problems usually usual teenager tasks such as dating and all driving car and more all or what teenagers do like playing with a cat or dog may be very challenging for them now coming to the spatial vision during the space organization development the child first gain so vertical dimension concept uh, which is followed by horizontal dimensions concept and oblique and diagonal dimensions are more complex and perceptions of uh, these special co- coordinates mature later the child later develops an understanding that his or her body has two sides known as laterality the right side and left side and which also proceeds in stages the child will later develops directionality and which is known as an understanding of a external object's position in space in relationship to himself or herself and this allows the child to uh, handle the spatial experience almost solely in a visual manner by sensing body size difference the child realizes that figures and objects also have laterality also which equally to right side and left side bilateral Now coming to the role of vision in social development the vision's effect in aiding infants involvement in social communication has been widely accepted facial expressions are a very important way to convey emotions mutual gaze between parents and infant usually assist the emotional attachments and adults facial expression tend to be an important driving force like a boosting force during social interactions with infants younger than 9 months now uh, proceeding with visual perceptual problems visual uh, perceptual problem as like as earlier visual perceptual functions they divided into two function as well also receptive and cognitive now let's all begin with visual receptive issues tremendous stress is put on the visual system due to many reasons such as working at near point visual task such as reading for longer hours or writing for very long by looking closely and more and many students with visual issues may struggle to meet behavioral demand demands such as sitting quietly for a longer period of time and more and students with visual issues may exhibit several signs such as visual fatigue and more and ocular motor control damage can happen through uh, cranial nerve function severance and the pattern of ocular motor malfunction depends on the injured brain areas and uh, injury nature the nature of injuries and ocular motor issues can hinder the ability for better uh, proper gaze control now coming to refractive errors measures of visual acuity alone don't predict how good children interpret visual informations Uh, other de- uh, determinants include the ability to see objects in low uh, co- control and lightning condition uh, and visual field problems and more if the conditions of motor and sensory fusion not fulfill binocular vision occurs in which a uh, single binocular vision is at the best difficult and more strabismus or also known as crossed eye uh, or it can cause double vision Another type of binocular dysfunction is known as phoria which can cause one eye to turn slightly in out up or down and phoria requires the child to expend extra me- mechanical effort to maintain motor fusion of the two eyes whether focusing near or far now coming to visual cognitive functions uh, with subcategory attention visual attention consists of many parts such as alertness selective attention and more uh, which also include vigilance and sh- uh, shared attentions if the child's state of alertness is damaged the child may exhibit behaviors of poor sustained attention and more and the children who face uh, the struggle in selective attention tend to show reduced ability to focus on a visual target and the child also may have difficulty in sc- screening out irrelevant information and may focus on irrelevant stimuli children with selective attention issues are easily confused and selective attention is cru- very important for encoding info into memory and more children who have uh, reduced vigilance vigilance uh, we show poor examination of visual stimuli and more children with uh, uh, problems with uh, shared attention can only focus properly on one task and they cannot do multitask now coming to memory children with visual memory problems has poor ability to retrieve visual uh, info 
and to store them in a short or long term memory children with visual memory uh, problems also may fail to allow for a storage of visual info they may also show the inability to recognize visual stimuli presented previously because he or she hasn't stored this info into a memory yet and they may have good memory for life experience like they remember they play with a cat dog or they went to japan korea or what but not for factual materials like mathematics science and more now coming to visual discrimination children with poor discrimination skills may exhibit uh, impaired ability to recognize match and categorize usually a child with limited matching skills may be confused with similar shapes and also struggle to recognize form in a complex field now coming to the now coming to the final part of the slides which uh, covers the object also known as form vision and spatial vision for this uh, sub subject and children with form constancy problems may struggle with recognizing forms when they are presented in different sizes and more and this one can affect the child's ability to organize and classify perceptual experience for meaningful cognitive operations uh, a child with a visual closure issues may be unable to identify a form if presented in not a complete form and children with figure ground issues may not be able to pick out a particular toy from the shelf and this may cause he or she to have a struggle with sorting and organizing personal items and a child with issues uh, issues in space positioning struggles with discriminating among objects because of their placement in space and they may also struggle to plan the action in relation to objects around them and may show delayed uh, gross motor skills and reduced depth perception can impact the child's ability to walk through space and more and this um, they may also struggle at the same time with the steps and uh, curbs and more they like may have struggle to climb up the stairs and more like rasa gayat lah like feel like giddy macam tu and a child who suffers from uh, reduced topographic orientations may easily get lost and may unable to find his or away from one location to the next and the child also may be unable to walk from home to school without getting lost like can boleh senang sesat lah macam tu uh, so which is all and that's all today and thank you for listening and see you soon